Okay, so we've got a question here. We're going to try and solve this, what's called a quadratic congruence question. And we've got x squared plus 1 is congruent with 2 modulus 7. Now it looks a little bit like the old-fashioned uh, quadratic questions we used to see. x squared plus 1 equals 2. And then we try and solve for x in this kind of thing. But here we're trying to solve for modulus 7. Now, where are we going to start with this? Well, first of all, what is good news is that we can see this here, 7 is a prime number. So it basically, it's not composite. So that's an important place to start. So with that in mind, what we can do is here, we can try and get the x squared on its own and try and get a number on this side, or we can bring the two over this side and see if we can factor it. So let's go down either route. So x squared plus one is congruent with two mod seven. Okay, now what we can do is, because this, as we said here, is a prime number, not a composite number, we can bring this two over to the other side. So then x squared plus 1 minus 2 is congruent. We've now taken 2 minus 2 mod 7, just to show you this step each way, right, going back to the originals. So now let's simplify this up. x squared plus 1 minus 2, that's minus 1. And 2 minus 2, we know is 0. And that's mod 7. Okay, so now let's see if we can factor this side. Well, x squared minus 1, we know we can factor that into x minus 1, x plus 1. And that's congruent with 0 mod 7. Okay, so now what we're left with is that we've got either, because for this to be 0, either one of these congruences has to be 0. So then we've either got x plus 1 is congruent with 0 mod 7, or x minus 1 is congruent with 0 mod 7. OK, so now we can do the relevant to bring this one over the other side in both instances. So let's follow along. So x plus 1 is congruent with 0 mod 7. So that will then give us x is congruent with minus 1 mod 7. That's bringing the 1 across. And this one here, bring this one across, we've got to add 1 to each side. So x is congruent with 1 mod 7. Okay, now minus 1, yes this is a correct answer, but what we can do is we can try and improve on that. What we want is a number between 0 and 6 for our congruence to look. Uh, in the form that we want with modulus 7. So minus 1 mod 7 is actually 6. So here we've got two solutions. x is congruent with 1 mod 7 or x is congruent with 6 mod 7. Okay. Now there's two solutions, but well, in congruences there is infinite solutions. So we can improve on this, we can just change this a little bit and write x is congruent with 1 plus, and as it's mod 7, we can do 7k. And then this one here will also be plus 7k. And then we take the congruence, because we won't need that, because we've got the solution, so now we can say that x equals 1 plus 7k or x equals 6 plus 7k, where k is an integer. OK, now let's try the other way where we're just going to move this around and see if we can find x squared. So I'm just going to take this off the board. So now x squared plus 1 is congruent with 2 mod 7. So now I'm going to isolate the x squared. 
So now x squared is congruent with uh, 2 minus 1, so that just gives us 1 mod 7. So now what we do is we can just see the solutions when we square a number to get 1. Well, we know here that x can be equal to plus or minus 1. So 1 squared is 1, and minus 1 squared is also 1. So then back to how it was in the previous question. So x is either congruent with 1 mod 7, or x is congruent with minus 1 mod 7. That's our two using this form. So as we did before, x is going to be minus 1 mod 7. We can now say that x is equal to 6 plus 7k, as we did here. And here we say x is equal to 1 plus 7k, as we did here. So both, both methods will give the same solution as you would expect. So that's up to you which way you want to go. But both of those methods that we've shown here will both work. Okay.